Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Recently, I came across a comment about how we handled heavy duty. Somebody, a uh, Roman Bugins, check my pronunciation, he suggested we take the same ship and do 10 knots sh slower with max bulkheads. Run that in. We get the maximum bulkheads, no problem. 10 knots slower, not really necessary I suppose but I want to try it out take a look at some of the other stuff we had equipped see if we might be able to eke out a little bit more eh, rather than to not slower it'll be Eight. Seven and a half. I suppose we could add a little bit more armor. Especially in the built extended. Everything has been generated now. Enemy is to the southwest. That direction. Environmentals are about what we normally expect. And we have spotted them. Taking a look, she's coming right for us. Looks like she has a similar setup too. They get the first hit. Now she's going broadside. I'm going to slow down then. Do 24 knots. percent chance at 21 kilometers hey we get a hit taking a few ourselves Now sitting at 18 kilometers over pen. There's a few hits. As well as return fire. Just been how things spawned out. Going a bit fast there, too. I 
have some ideas already. this second rear turret. Lose the torpedoes to get a better range of fire. Then we can re-add the torpedo launchers. Not that I expect we'll use them. Yep, that does not interfere with those turrets. Interferes with these 8 inch, but eh. And why do I have eight and seven? That frees up a bit of weight. And we'll go to the full 10 knots slower, so that'll be 26 knots. Maximum bulkheads. Triple hold. What are we looking at here? 25 inches would be ideal, considering the range we fully engaged. I don't think we're going to be able to hit that with the belt extended. So we can get to within something like 30 kilometers. And then deck wise, we're looking at no possible way to protect against that. Yeah, that's just not happening. can certainly afford the more expensive. I think I was using the ballastite for the extra range, which translates into better accuracy in every range category. If we look at the 25 kilometer range, we have 7.8. We move back to the ballastite, it's an 8.9. That's why I tend to pair, favor ballastite for long range combat. Also has a very high sh uh, shell muzzle velocity. Should translate into more belt hits. Something with a very low muzzle velocity. Oh, there's a few in here. Cordite has a minus four. Two powder minus five. There was something that was slower. Okay, two powder, and yeah, the 25 kilometer deck penetration jumps tremendously. Although that could be just because two powder has a bonus. Could look at the cordite. Consequently, as a less deck penetration at range. We'll try the high TNT and we'll see where it goes. I don't think we're going to lack in penetration. It's 
starting to think I'd crashed the game or something. Southeast, directly behind us. Turn this slug around. Is our first shot. We get the first hit over pen. There's two more hits. They still have yet to hit us. It's already going a bit better. There's their first hit on us. Twenty-five kilometers. Even we'll angle out now. So far, we've had good luck with the hits. There's two more. Only one penetrating. Even the non-penetrate partial pens are doing significant damage though. Oh, there's a good hit on us. Yeah, that penetrated deep. Two more negligible hits, and two on ours, hurting the deck some more. What are we sitting at? Barely closing any range. There's two more hits on us. On them. Looks like they may be angling to run, much as they did the first time we played this. I think we have only the rear turret firing now. We'll angle in. And because they're running, we're not going to slow down at all. I'll look out for these destroyers though.
Yeah, we have plenty of accuracy even at full speed. Sure, it could be more. Looking at 43%. Drop down to 22. We're already sitting there right now. Due to damage. Almost have them identified. Couple of overpens to the rear. There we go, three hits. We definitely have the advantage in accuracy. By about 15%. There's a good hit. Speed's 20 knots right now, so we are catching up. There's a good hit. Eh. I didn't hit any of the significant parts. Did destroy the secondary gun though. Sure there are those watching right now who want me to switch to HE. I will do so. Bit late but I like to see how things are progressing. So these are definitely HE rounds. Penetrating more than easily enough. That was a good hit to the stern. Now we're going to run into the inability to do hit the right parts of the ship to cause further damage. Kind of want to keep it firing AP in the hopes to get some of those lucky hits to take out the main guns. Well, we're still doing damage to the main guns though. Managed to destroy the number two turret at that. She's down to 19 knots. We likely have not slowed down appreciably. Her cruisers are trying to catch up with her. Taking a look at some of the decals that have been left. Ooh, we managed to get all the way. That's right. 
these six blocks in the back and most of the deck. Infrequent hits to the bow, but that might be enough. Certainly managed to do plenty of damage. Down to 18 knots now. We're just shy of 22. Plenty of bounces on that one, despite using AG. What are we looking at for range? 26 kilometers. Managed to get some flooding in the stern host room. Plenty of bounces. Although I should be careful with phraseology, those are ricochets, not bounces, usually. So we'd be getting them with AP just as easily as we do with HE. Despite the nose fuse for HE. Very similar to the last situation, last time we were in this situation, on this mission. Which we succeeded by taking out the heavy cruisers, but were unable to do damage to the important parts of the ship. So the HE is not very effective, or not, not suitably effect, more effective than the AP. I'll switch back. Because I do want to knock out those turrets. We're now under 26 kilometers. And destroy the number 3 turret in a single salvo. That was a lucky hit, but I'll take it. Is now 18.1 knots. Looks like the, their heavy cruisers are engaging our destroyers. Ah, there we go. Now we've managed to take out the main turrets. Resume peppering them with high explosives. Heavy cruisers are relatively easy to hit. We'll be using high explosive. Twenty one per cent chance hit. Our ranging shot. Now firing at them in earnest. First two hits. Very well. That high explosive bursting and doing a lot of splash damage after her penetrating the armor, which is thin enough. Just like that. I think we'll shift targets. 
range in on the second heavy cruiser. This will be a good test to see if um, you really don't need to touch the battleship. You just need to fulfill one of the mission objectives. Looks like we'll get a hit from this one. And pretty much, jeez. Single hit. That'll destroy him. Finish off the Saxony. And that should do it. And that does complete the mission. We saw similar results with the battleship though. Something I do want to try out though is switching to powder that reduces the gun range quite significantly but I think cordite 2 with the lower shell muzzle velocity that should produce additional deck hits well we get a reduction in range for cordite 2 might as well use the 2 powder then get a bonus in penetration and damage eh no I, I think the cordite would be a better option Increases our weight a little bit. I don't think we're going to be getting close enough. Not at this speed. Or torpedoes. We'll, well, I will drop down. That we can get higher speed again we'll reduce the belt extended some That should be sufficient. In fact, let's get rid of the eights and sevens. We'll keep the fives and threes, or the fours, fives. Or much more streamlined approach. Spotted to the west. Start with AP again. They're traversing left to right in the looks of it. There 
we've managed to spot them. We'll angle out slightly and drop to 32 knots. We should still get a bonus for reducing our speed. Won't be the full cruise speed bonus though. There's a hit. Ooh, they're using duels. And they're seventeens. Oh, we have to slow down a little bit more. There we get go. Starting to get the cruise ship speed. Thirty percent accuracy. Taking around. I don't know, you tell me, do those shells look like they're arcing in a bit higher than previously? Now we're looking at 30 kilometers, that's a little bit further than we were used to. I angled out a little bit quicker this time. Shells scattering all over the place. Got an underwater hit there. Nice hit. Penetration into the number one turret. Or that went through the deck and it just happened to be the way in the way of when they drew the decal. Sitting at 31 kilometers. Want all turrets to participate. I believe they are. Yep, yeah, that seems to be working pretty well. Play angle in perpendicular. Just as well, they appear to be turning away now. Still think those shells are coming in at a higher angle. Reflecting the lower muzzle velocity. Which 
may be to our benefit. max speed and close with her. You can tell the accuracy hit we've taken by being at longer range. Last time we were right around 26 kilometers when we went into the stern chase. Time we're almost at 32. Oh, that looks like a good salvo. 1 over pen to the stern deck. That looks like it might be 2. 3. Two of them ricocheted slash bounced. It looks like it'll be a one. Solid penetration, side of the superstructure. Looks like we have three on this one. Two. Damage to the number one turret. Three, maybe. Eh, they were a little to the right and short. Two? No, those were wide. Just one. Solid set of penetrations, though. About to have the ship identified, we've closed two kilometers. And our opponent is the Tugendhafta. An Austrian flag, yep. Tugendhafta. Which is indeed using 17 inch guns. And double turrets. Armor still kind of thin ish. She's a big one at 105,000 tons. And she has plenty of speed 24 knots. I'm going to stay on AP until we knock out the rear guns. Certainly put a lot of holes in her deck. Ammo detonation. Must have been secondary ammo. Because that did not do a lot of damage. For an ammo detonation.
sitting at 27 kilometers now. Closing quickly. Ooh, that's a tight salvo. Excellent. Her accuracy is quite poor. Two hits. Did get a little damage to the rear turret. Two more hits. And that deck is looking very old. Out of curiosity, what does our deck look like? Oh, so shiny except for the rear. There's one of the partial pens on the port bow. Can't really see the hit that hurt the stern section. Might have been right at the turret ring. I just don't see it. Sitting at 25 kilometers now. I think we hit... Well, I don't know. Looking at the penetration values. Thinking out what the immunity zone for this ship might be. But with that level of armor, I'm not sure she has much of one. Given her poor accuracy, if they're going to shoot at me with these cruisers, I'm going to change targets. Ooh, accuracy is pretty poor. These have 9 inch primaries, which aren't going to be doing much to us. There we go. That takes care of the Lusta now. Question is, how interested are we in finishing off the Tugendhoft? We 
use a little HE for a little bit. Destroyed the funnel. Now sitting at just under 22 kilometers. Switch back to AP. There we go, damage to the main guns there. He is down to 22 knots. We're at 33, so we're closing at a fair clip. Couple good penetrations there. Excellent salvo, took out the number one turret and the uh, conning tower. You can see the low angle of those shells now that we've closed quite a bit. Coming in under 10 kilometers, or in 20. Oh, it shifted targets. I was wondering why the accuracy was so low. There's our ranging shot. Which hit. With both rounds. And we're up to 95% accuracy. Now I just need to hit those rear turrets. Now we are at max accuracy. Keep damaging the main gun. Five inch guns have engaged the enemy destroyers. That is cause for a little bit of concern. That means that we are well within torpedo range. 5 inch secondary seem to be doing a great job of tearing them up though. Enough that I don't feel the need to use the primaries. Probably the best test we've had yet of secondaries engaging destroyers. And far more effective than they used to be, which matches the patch notes. Oh, we took out the number three turret. Also known as the X turret. Let's see what this looks like from them, their perspective. Ooh. 
Ooh, there's a set of hits. Ah, she's maneuvering too much and our secondary stopped firing. There we go. go. Destroyed the number one turret. Now we just need to take care of the number four or the Y turret. Saw the launch of the torpedoes. Are they launching too? They are. There are the torpedoes. Aim to slide right in between. Nope. Took one on the nose. There's a second salvo, ammo detonation, on one of the destroyers. good hits and another set of torpedoes I think we have enough uh, deck space the RY turret can freely rotate no need to swing it all the way around is indeed the case. There goes the torpedoes from the cruiser. Nice set of hits. Not that it achieved much. And there goes the last enemy destroyer. Continue to angle away from the heavy cruiser. the halo 5 inch come in
Watching for the torpedoes. We know the cruiser launched. Keep hitting all the other main guns, but not the ones we want. Now at 13 kilometers. Switch to HE for this round. Penetrated into the belt layer very well. Oh, yeah. Definitely effective at that range. I would say HE is more effective right here. Longer ranges, it's a little harder to tell. But for this set of circumstances, for Definitely a clear case of HE is superior. At least for this stern chase. Angle in a little bit more. I think the Tugendhaft is pretty much done. Starting to look a little bit like the Bismarck. He is down to 18 knots. We're still doing 30. That's almost got her. Down to 17 knots. This may be the last salvo. Oh, not quite. Gotta get something into that nose section apparently. Curiosity, let's see how the AP handles that. Now that we're within almost 11. Yeah, it's too low an angle, we're not going to be able to get down into the deck with AP. Or below decks with the AP. Destroyers are going to end up finishing her off. to HE. Now down to 14 knots. Pursue directly. Although this torpedo spread may finish her off. Yep, she's gonna take one. And the second one hit further in the nose and that took her out. So there we go. Third time and we tested out a few different things with that run. But with that, I am way over time.
So I thank you for joining me. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.